Welcome to EML Micro, where we bring you bite-sized professional learning. This topic is about co-constructing inclusive headers for Google Classroom and Brightspace. You will need the link to the slide deck, which can be found at bit.ly slash EML Micro Custom Headers. This will provide you with access to templates for either Google Classroom or Brightspace, depending on which platform you're using. Some of the possibilities to consider while you're working with your students to co-create this header is to think about class goals and personal interests. Perhaps you want to embed students' graffiti initials, just remembering strong digital citizenship skills, meaning no personal photos or names. Maybe some images or a motto or an inspirational quote that really inspires your group of students this year. What about some calls to action to have them be active participants during class times? Try to remember that this header should be reflective of all members of your class. Perhaps one of the changes you want to make is coming up with the class header title. Instead of calling it the teacher's name, find something that's much more inclusive. Some of the resources that you could consider using are listed here on this slide. One of these books is called This Book is Anti-Racist. There's an activity where students actually document all the aspects of their identity. Feel free to take a look at that one to get you started. If you're using Google Classroom, this is the template for Google Classroom headers. If you click on the image on the screen, it will prompt you to make a copy. Once you make a copy of the template, it is yours to actually customize. You'll be able to see different ways in which you can actually change the colors, change fonts. You can change the title of your course or your class, for example. You can zoom out to find some different template art, some different clip art that we have put here for you to drag and drop and resize to customize exactly how your header will look. Down here at the bottom in the notes, you will see that we've got the instructions on how to actually save your header once you have finished. You would be going to File, Download, JPEG, and you would be choosing a file location. Remember, with our desktops being unavailable, we can say OK to this. We can click on this PC and we can choose the hard drive. You would be giving it a title right here. And I'm going to call this one Grade 8. And I would be clicking on Save. At this point, I would then be ready to go into my Google Classroom to actually upload this custom header to be representative of all in our, in our space. If you are a Brightspace user, the next slide actually has the template for Brightspace. Once again, when you click on that template, you're able to make a copy and you are able to go through the exact same process that we just did for Google Classroom. Again, you are able to change any of the content and you are able to actually file, download, JPEG, choose the file name and where to save. The difference comes in when we are actually going to be using these headers, not when we're saving. So again, the saving process, regardless of a Google Classroom or Brightspace is the same and the steps are listed for you here. When you are ready to upload your saved image in Brightspace, you will actually navigate to Educator Tools, Course Admin, Course Offering Information, and you are going to browse for that JPEG. You will see here that we have brought that image into the background. In your Google Classroom, you're simply going to click on Upload Photo, which is at the bottom. And once you have uploaded that, you are set to share your inclusive header designs with our community via hashtag PeelEML. Thanks for following along.